The European Union is considering several crucial policies that will impact the growth and accessibility of bioplastics, even for those beyond their borders. I'm Patrick Krieger with the Plastics Industry Association. Throughout Bioplastics Week 2021, we're talking with experts on subjects the industry needs to know. I'm here with Joanna Dupont-Inglis, the head of EU Affairs for European Bioplastics. Joanna, thanks for being here. Pleasure. Thank you for asking me, Patrick. Compared to the United States, the European Union has been much more active influencing the plastics industry through policy, encouraging it to move from a linear to circular economy. What are some ways that this is being done? Well, it's very interesting because in the most recent mandate of the European Commission, which is uh, headed by President von der Leyen, um, there's been a really strong focus on what's known as the European Green Deal. Um, so there are many different deliverables under this uh, Green Deal, but probably one of the most noteworthy is the ambition to be climate neutral by 2050. So this involves all kinds of production sectors, but there's also many other aspects to the European Green Deal. It's really a complete package, and I think there are probably over around 20 different measures. Um, some of these concern the just transition, uh, which means how people can transition from a primarily fossil-based economy to a more renewable-based economy uh, without undergoing uh, negative consequences uh, in terms of prosperity, etc. Uh, but there's also other aspects such as the farm-to-fork strategy, which is about making agriculture more sustainable. Um, there's a green transition in general. So there's many different areas, um, including climate neutrality, where bioplastics will play a role. So there's all these different pieces of policy being developed under this broader umbrella of the European Green Deal. And I think probably if we're talking about bioplastics, one of the areas that's most significant um, will be the circular economy strategy and the revision of the packaging and packaging waste directive. Um, in addition to that, there's the waste framework directive, which also concerns bioplastics in, in terms of them being compostable materials and then being very important in the collection um, and organic recycling of uh, bio waste. So many different aspects of this European Green Deal where bioplastics, either in terms of bio-based or in terms of biodegradable compostable plastics or both, will be relevant. I'm sure there is a lot more detail than can be captured in a three minute video. If people are interested in learning more, where can they go? Well, it's, it's a really good question, Patrick. And there, as you've identified, there is so much going on at the moment and there's a lot of overlap as well. So one of the best resources we have at European Bioplastics is our website. And on our website, we make sure it's regularly updated with our latest position papers. We, of course, as an association, have meetings uh, on a weekly and uh, monthly basis uh, with our members. And so they are very frequently updated with the latest developments um, in EU policy and regulation. But anybody is more than welcome to, to visit our website and to get information from there. And I think you'll probably see a couple of links coming up uh, where you can access some interesting papers that have been not too, not too long ago developed. Policies that originate in the EU have international ripple effects, so it's important that people understand and can anticipate what these policies mean. Thanks, Joanna, for being here, and thank you for watching. If you'd like to learn more about this and other bioplastics topics, follow hashtag Bioplastics Week.